All right, hey everybody, I want to wheeze them here again. This is Friday, July 13th. I'm just a day late, kind of had some stuff come up, couldn't uh, do a whole lot last night. But uh, just recorded the round one results video. Uh, in that time, I kind of remembered there were a few that I wanted to mention uh, that I wanted to maybe see go another way. Uh, I really felt like Boomer uh, had a good chance against Warnado. Uh, clearly, Warnado came through big time on that one. Uh, Another one I felt like could have been close again. Stealth Elf and Drobot. Uh, I probably would have given the edge to Stealth Elf. She is who advanced. Uh, Camo and Whirlwind. I honestly think uh, you know Whirlwind should have performed a little better. Uh, let's see here. The one that I really would have to say I think would have gone differently. Uh, Wham Shell and Dino Ring. I just feel like Dino Ring probably would have taken him down. Uh, that of course would have totally altered everything we've got here uh but everything else you know pretty close i can definitely see where people came from and again you know with uh, camo being two and wham shell being three that's kind of still going to be the same group voting so it makes perfect sense in that scenario nonetheless that out of the way this is our round two matchups uh the polls will open tonight uh friday july 13th basically as soon as the video is live i'll go ahead and get the polls up I'll probably have the polls up beforehand, actually. But uh, it's going to be the same setup, basically, run two weeks. And uh, all you need to do is go into the blog. I'll uh, resort everything so this round two matchups will be right below the Twitter feed on the right-hand side of the blog. You can vote one time. You know, vote for your favorites or who you think would win. Generally, that's going to be the same thing. Uh, you know, and again, if you've got, like, two of your favorites stacking up against each other, you know, say, like, Igniter and Stealth Elf, uh, you know, pick for one, you know, or maybe vote for the one that you think could take on Sunburn or Double Trouble, just whatever strategy you come up with. Go that route. Main thing is to have fun. Uh, again, please vote in all the battles. Tell your friends about it. You know, if you're a huge, uh, I don't know, say Ghost Roaster right now is kind of one of our lower seeds at Advanced. If you're a big Ghost Roaster fan, you know, be sure to tell your friends, see if you can't pull off another upset. But our round two matchups will start in the number one bracket. We have actually got number one Warnado of the air element going up against number 17, or I'm sorry, number 16 Slam Bam. Uh, this is actually going to be a very interesting battle. Uh, I know who I think would win. Again, I'm not going to say that until after everyone's voted. But uh, again, vote for your favorite. This is actually a really good matchup in my opinion. Kind of a uh, you know, they, they go up well against each other in real battle mode. Uh, so, nonetheless, our second matchup features number 12, Terrafin, who absolutely slaughtered Wrecking Ball. And uh, he's up against number 25, Zap. Again, recall Zap took down Spyro in somewhat of an upset. So we basically got Earth versus Water. Uh, should be another interesting matchup. Uh, again, I've got my clear-cut favorite here, but won't go into it. Uh, in theory, you know, if you've got Zap upgraded well, uh, I could see this being a you know interesting matchup. We will come in now to our number two bracket, which is actually over here at the top. We saw Camo take down Whirlwind, and Camo, our number two seed, will be going up against number eighteen Sonic Boom, who upset Prism Break. You know, it was a 15 versus 18 seed, but now we have number two camo from the life element against number 18 sonic boom from the air element. Uh, this is another one, you know, when you actually think about the scenarios, uh, should be a very interesting battle. Uh, poor Cinder. Uh, she was forced to battle Hex in round one, and now she is facing Ghost Roaster. I say poor, she's basically, you know, faced with eradicating her own elemental group. Uh, she took down Hex very easily as our number 7 seed, but number 22, Ghost Roaster, uh, refused to go silently. He actually upset number 11, Flame Slinger. That was a uh, you know pretty good upset there. Uh, this matchup, again, uh, depending on which upgrade pass you picked for him, uh, could be pretty interesting. And nonetheless, we've got an elemental showdown. There's always something cool about that. So, again, number 7, Cinder, number 22, Ghost Roaster. Our third seeded bracket begins with Wham Shell, who took out Dino Ring in round one. I honestly think Dino Ring would have defeated him, but uh, again, I realize he has a huge following. There's still tons of people that can't land him. 
Uh, his fun is in serious jeopardy here because he's going up against Bash. Uh, Bash came in as your 14th favorite Skylander. That said, I think everyone that has spent 10 minutes with him uh, basically knows how much damage he deals and how he upgrades. So it should be interesting. You know, you've kind of got like the uh, stalwart, if you will, the bruiser, and then you've got the uh, big fan favorite in Whamshell. Uh, so this will be one you'll kind of want to keep your eyes on. But we've got three Wham Show against 14 Bash. And then our final matchup in the round three, or the three seated bracket, pits number six Lightning Rod against number 10 Trigger Happy. Uh, this one should be very good just based on the fact that they're so close in the rank of six versus 10. Uh, you know, you're going to have only one tighter than that coming up in the next bracket. But uh, they really stack up well against each other, kind of projectile attacked characters. You know, attack from a distance, in other words, uh, will be interesting to monitor that. Our final bracket, the number four, Pitts Sunburn, uh, who took out Eruptor against Double Trouble, who is, of course, number uh, 13. Uh, this one oh, should be pretty good just based on the fact he's got a huge following. Uh, Double Trouble, I think people are really coming around to once they've upgraded him. So 4 versus 13, Sunburn taking on Double Trouble. Our final matchup, uh, this one is very tight, a little bit tighter than 6 versus 10. It's 5 Igniter versus number 9 Stealth Elf. Stealth Elf, if you recall, edged out Drobot by 3 votes, and uh, we will see if she can avenge Stump Smash's loss to Igniter in round 1. Uh, this is one of those matchups it seems like you'd see later on. Again, the way they were seated kind of dictates this, but uh, these two are both uh, incredible. Hence, you know, five and nine is a pretty solid rank for each, and uh, I think they will match up very well. Could be another, you know, replay of a three vote margin of victory for Stealth Elf or something. Uh, so, Igniter, Fire Element fans, and Stealth Elf fans, which, you know, you came out in force anyway, I think this one will be another very, very tight one. Uh, that said, that is basically our uh, round two matchups. We've basically gone from 32 to 16 here in round two. Got it spelled out here on the bracket list. Again, you can vote on the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. The poll will be located just below the Twitter feed on the right-hand side of the page. Uh, basically, you know, if you've been voting in any of the polls I ran, it's in the same spot as usual. Always keep the newest polls at the top just so they're easier to find. Uh, basically, we've got 16 characters here in round two, so that means we have eight matchups. And uh, there's quite a few good ones this time around. I think they'll be a bit tighter than a lot of the uh, battles we saw in round one. But uh, again, uh, feel free here on YouTube. You can post up who you think is going to win. Uh, you know, who you wish would have won in round one, etc. Uh, matchups you think we'll see, stuff you'd like to see in future, you know, battle matchups, etc. And uh, if it's anything pertinent, you know, go to the blog, which is the first link here, and, uh, you know, post up there. I get to that one regularly. YouTube, I just kind of monitor them here on these battle videos, kind of see what people are thinking, uh, you know, who they're pulling for, etc. But again, you know, please vote, tell your friends about it, you know, get them involved. Uh, if you've got anybody here that advanced that you think is a big underdog, uh, feel free, you know, spread the word, do what you can, see if you can't get your favorites to win in advance. Uh, like I said, lots of good matchups this time around, <laughs> and uh, be interesting to see how it pans out. Again, we'll give this one two weeks as well, so be sure to follow along. I'll post updates from time to time. You know, Twitter, I'll come in on YouTube too, kind of update you on total vote counts, what's close, etc. But uh, round one went great. Hopefully we have the same turnout for this one. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, for more information, check out the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, whichever you prefer. And again, thanks for watching, and be sure to cast your vote in round two of our Skylanders Battle Tournament.